So after the Savers plugin for RDZ is installed, the first thing you're going to likely want to do is create a filter list so that you're looking at only those jobs in which you're interested in. The way you do that is to right click on the word filters on the right and a window will pop up that allows you to specify the filter name and then the, the particular filter criteria, meaning the jobs information that you want to include in your list, also the date range maybe, the uh, particular class for the, in which the job ran, and if you wish, a return code. So once we create a filter, we now have a list of jobs on the right. Those jobs then can be selected, anyone can be selected, and when you do, it exposes all the DDs for that job. When you select one of the DDs, the window in the center there and left presents only the information or the listing information about that DD. You see it changes as we go through and select any of the DDs within the job. Right. In the lower left window you see the properties or the metadata about the job. If you scroll down through there you see it, that metadata is information like the date and time the job ran, how many lines are in the listing, et cetera, et cetera. If you go back and right click on the job name in the list again and select show in table, there you see now all the metadata appearing in the lower window. It's a different view of the metadata, all the DDs on the left with all the information sc scrolled out to the right and you can scroll back and forth and if you click on any one of these DD items, again, you'll see, first you'll see on the left, you'll see the metadata change about that DD, and then you'll also see in the upper window the listing for only that DD appear. Another feature of the plugin, if you go back to the job list and right click on the job name and select Show JCL, now you see the JCL appear in the window in the middle and you can actually go in there and edit that data and if you wish, resubmit it.